Hello everyone, this is Jack from Data Preset. Today is the day after Christmas and it's surely a very special day because come over here as you can watch over my shoulder that the Honda hybrid battery and on its left or on your right is the sodium ion battery prototype for the Honda hybrid. And uh, uh, as you can see, uh, it's a cylindrical shaped battery when comparing to the Prius. Um, but the sodium battery, we make this form factor to work. And uh, we'll run the workbench test to compare the internal resistance as well as the capacity. And also, uh, we're gonna install the battery to my Honda Hybrid uh, to see the differences in MPG and performance. And as you probably know, um, Honda Hybrid is a mild hybrid. It means that the batteries only assist on the engine. All right, the engine will uh, pretty much won't stop until you reach a complete stop at the traffic lights. That's the moment it will stop, and then as soon as the, uh, the traffic light turns green, the engine will start, there will be no EV range, no EV mode like the hybrid, like the Toyota hybrid or Prius. So the mild hybrid means it doesn't require a lot of power in and out of the battery. And that means if this solution works for Prius, it will definitely work for Honda, but we'll find out, okay? Um, that's, that's why I'm so excited. I, I've been preparing my Honda Hybrid for over a year now. Let me uh, show you around. This is my 2007 Honda Hybrid. I've been driving for a year. And as you know, we run into problem with our Lithium project a year ago. Uh, the Lithium just can survive in the extreme temperature, like extreme cold, hot, or some corner cases. And, but with the development of the sodium battery, <laughs> it overcome all the situation and we survived this difficult time. And now we're gonna try this on the Honda Hybrid and to find out what happened to the MPG and performance. The, the reason why this owner, the previous owner sold me this car for $500 is because simply because the car doesn't get very good MPG. It, is, it has already has a second, uh, it already has a replacement battery from, to, uh, from Honda uh, before he sold it to me, but it's still getting really bad MPG. The mass, the best he can do is around 34 to 35 mpg and that's pretty much like a regular gasoline Honda Civic. So we're gonna see if sodium battery can save this car and give you a better mpg and I'll take you along with me in this entire journey so stay tuned. Alright before we start the installation here is more detail about the sodium ion battery cell for Honda and this is the 32140 form factor sodium ion battery cell. Um, and it is the same as that we use on our Prius, Prius C and some other model. Uh, it's way, way, way overkill for the Honda application, but I mean, it's just going to last for, for a long time. And last longer is always a good thing. Um, and uh, we have tested so many 32140. Um, we actually acquired all of them from, from, the, from the Asia, from, Taiwan from China, even from uh, Canada. And this is by far the best manufacturer that producing the cell. And uh, yeah, and <laughs> they are very serious about their quality. We're gonna install this to do our, our the Honda Civic Hybrid today. Uh, and we are doing a workbench test as we speak. Let me show you some detail here. Um, so while we test this, it's a charge the nickel metal hydro battery to 18 volts, sent to the sodium battery to 18 volts, uh, and then discharge sent to 12 volts with one C uh, at around 6.5 amp hour. All right, so, and using the exact same machine. See, we have so many machines here, but we're using the same machine to make sure they have the exact same setting and the exact same calibration to our two channel. And uh, they are doing the discharge, discharge test right now we'll see how much the capacity they have. Um, and then we're gonna do the internal resistance test. Okay, the result is done, and let's take a look at the capacity. On the left side, we have the sodium battery, a total of 6,173 milliamp. On the right-hand side, we have the nickel metal hydro battery, measuring at only 33.97 milliamp. Uh, both are from 18 volts all the way to 12 volts. 12 volts 
and see the Enigma Metal Hydro battery is always pain in the butt to deal with the, the, the voltage drop to 12 volt and bounce back uh, because the higher internal resistance and uh, yeah th this is supposed to be a brand new stick uh, from online um, but I guess the temperature is just too cold right now so instead of measuring 5000 milliamp it's measuring only at uh, 3300 and on the other hand sodium battery yeah 6000 it's way overkill for this application um, so let's take a look at the internal resistance all right so the, for the sodium battery the AC measuring at 1000 hertz measuring at 7.05 okay 7.05 mini ohm and let's take a look at the nickel hydro battery it's measuring at 14.88 right yeah 14.88 mini ohm so 14.88 compared to 7085 that's double the nickel metal hydro battery has doubled the internal resistance of this one and this is supposed to be new but today's temperature is cold that might, might be why it's measuring higher uh, but it doesn't matter because it's on the, in the same room and with the same temperature and that's the difference in internal resistance and this is the Honda CV hybrid that we are going to install the V3 sodium battery on um, so let me show you the MPG as well as some setup here. Yeah, as you can see, we have this center console ready. This is reading the ampage. This is reading the temperature. All right, and then we have some voltage that we can activate at any time that we want to measure the, the cell voltage. Uh, and so far, this car has 34.4 MPG uh, over 443.3 mile. I've tried my best. I swear, I swear it was 35 before, but in this morning, I think it's temperature oh, it drop again. I think it's temperature is just getting colder, and uh, the mileage is the, is suffering. All right, so let's see how the uh, sodium battery will work, will do on this car. Hopefully, a better MPG, and uh, then uh, we're gonna run a torture test and monitor all the critical data, the temperature, the voltage, the ampage everything through this console setup here. All right, we have the pack fully assembled. Look at this. Uh, we do have some small fitment issue that we are changing the 3D file right now. Uh, this is just part of the prototyping. We also have the voltage sensor wire installed, uh, prepared to monitor the voltage in real time. We also have the baseline number on each place ready so we can compare the number later. We want every single cell to be in balance, in perfect balance um, uh, during the operation. And uh, this pack ready to be installed. Okay, we got everything set up. The, the all the voltage sensor, the amp sensor everything connected also the temperature is in the battery and now that's turning it on the the breaker 
All right, no smoke, nothing happened. That's good. Let's go connect the turbo battery. Here we go. I guess it's the moment of truth. <laughs> Let's turn on the car for the first time with the sodium ion battery. Oh, before that, let's take a look at the voltage. 3.2A, 3.3, perfect. Perfect. All right. The train's coming, so let's turn it on. Engine start. Is there any error code? Here we go. No error code. The voltage, 3.26. Stable, very stable. The battery show no charge because it, it's a reset, so it's gonna relearn and then uh, calibrate itself. Ooh, let me reset the trick computer to zero mile, and we'll find out. We'll find out the MPG very quickly. All right. So, what's your prediction, Peter? What do you think the MPG gonna be? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Not too sure. Well, I think the MPG gonna remain the same because, like I said, this is a mild hybrid. Uh, the battery, my prediction, will be just stay there forever. Whenever you accelerate, it will just keep the, the keep the capacity without dropping like before. Before it was like fully charged and fully depleted in, in the matter of 10 seconds. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be more stable, but we'll see. All right, we'll see. Okay, so the car has been charging for a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, it's a four, a four bar right now. Voltage wise, 3.3, 3.3, perfect. Temperature only at 70 Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius. Okay, 17 Celsius. I believe that's 68 Fahrenheit. It's still cold, but that's okay. Let's go for a test drive and give everyone the impression, the first impression. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but let's try. Light accelerate. Whoa! <laughs> the car is smooth. You see the system. It's actually assist me on the uh, engine, so I can feel it. Full assist. Never seen that before. For all this year, I thought the clutch on this car is giving up, and the engine actually stopped. Wow! Right now it's auto stop. I haven't seen that for a long time. Let me do another hard acceleration. Oh, it's smooth. No jerky move, no jerky move. Full assist. Nice. <laughs> for 30 seconds, I already feel the battery of the car. It's alive again, finally. And I thought it's a clutch of the transmission on this car is has blew out or something. It turns out it's just a battery. Wow! So smooth, no jerky move anymore. Yeah! <laughs> okay! Yeah, the battery is not even warm up yet. And engine stop, actually stop. I'm so happy. <laughs> Nice, nice. The car is alive again. And the initial impression on the first test drive is very good. The uh, car runs very smooth when comparing to before. I believe it's because the, the previous battery, the stop battery was shot. Therefore, it can withstand the heavy load. Therefore, it keep cutting off 
and I thought it was a clutch issue with the car, but turns out it, the battery fixed the, the problem, the jerkiness. All right, so I'm super happy right now. Uh, however, I need your help. If you are Honda Hybrid Asper, please email me at support at nextpowerenergy.com and let me know how I should, how I could torture test this battery. I want to push it to the limit. I want to break it. Please let me know how I can do that. And once we finish all the initial testing, then we'll open up for beta, beta test program. Uh, so if you are a DIYer, passionate about innovation and want to help shape the future of the hybrid battery, please, I invite you to join us. Uh, please subscribe to our newsletter at saltyhybrid.com and wait for the update. And with this battery, with this sodium amp battery, it's not going not only going to be more affordable, but the longevity is going to reshape the hybrid industry. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for sticking with me and supporting my small business since 2019. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what 2025 will bring us. So definitely stay tuned and cheers.